It is a difficult job being a prison officer. Uh, you work unsociable hours, uh, long hours, uh, difficult environment, difficult people, uh, and uh, it's something I think we should appreciate a great deal more. The state government last year introduced laws, uh, and they were called the uh, Mandatory Testing Infectious Diseases Act. And that was for police officers. That the person who committed the assault or who transferred, uh, resisted arrest or the like and transferred a bodily fluid was then subject to a mandatory testing regime so that the police officer could find out immediately whether or not that person had a transmissible disease, could either put their mind at risk, at, at rest, or let them know they were subject to risk. So police officers get that assurance. They haven't given that same protection to prison officers. If you are assaulted, if there is a transferal of bodily fluid, if there is a risk of that, we'll make sure that the person who does that, the prisoner, is subject to that mandatory testing regime immediately. And that means you will receive that peace of mind. Now, in the overall scheme of things, I know it's not the most pressing issue facing you, but if you are that person and you are in that position, it will give you peace of mind. Ambulance officers and medical professionals who also deal with people in that circumstance deserve exactly the same protection and we'll give them that as well. You deserve that protection. So we'll make sure you get it. The government, I think, has adopted a bit of an ideological obsession with privatisation. The way they approach it is this. They decide to privatise and then they get the argument afterwards. They haven't done a fair analysis, a fair comparison. The cost of prisons operating publicly versus the cost of prisons operating privately. But I can guarantee you this, we're not going to privatise any further and we'll be making sure that those contracts the government has signed are properly enforced. The days of sweetheart deals, companies employing lobbyists, trawling through ministers' offices to get what they want, are over.